Turning now to the powerful storm pounding California, it has claimed two lives, including a toddler. This is the latest system known as the Atmospheric River to sweep across California in recent days. A state of emergency is in effect as crews race to respond to power outages, flooding, and mudslides. Nearly 200,000 homes and businesses are without power. Jonathan Vigliotti is in Sacramento County. Jonathan, good morning. And good morning to you, Nate. We're here in the town of Wilton outside the city of Sacramento, which received the equivalent of one month's worth of rainfall in less than 24 hours. The levee system, which was meant to hold back the river, it broke in several locations during last weekend storm, which is why we're seeing this incredible amount of flooding. The river here, the water here expected to rise as the day continues on. Meteorologists describing this storm as brutal. It is already proven to be deadly. The damage has already begun across the Bay Area and Central Coast, and for at least one family overnight, heartbreak. We had a fatality up there of, uh, uh, of a minor. The town of Occidental's fire chief, Ron Lenardi, described the events following a tree falling on the mobile home of a family of three, killing a toddler. When I first arrived on scene, a frantic father came out of the house holding the child, and he said, my child's not breathing. Lunardi went on to say paramedics were unable to revive the child. This night also saw rescues across the area, including a crew saving this man from the fast-running Los Gatos Creek in San Jose. We anticipate that this may be one of the most challenging and impactful series of storms to touch down in California in the last five years. Authorities are warning residents to stay indoors and off the roads unless ordered to evacuate. They just said that we have to leave. And for good reason, following last weekend's storm, late yesterday, we witnessed one man discover his sister's car submerged in a Sacramento County vineyard. He told us he'd been searching for her for the past three days. Emergency crews arrived and recovered her body. At least three deaths have been linked to the holiday deluge. With the saturation of the water, it's not going to take much to overwhelm communities. And back here in Wilton, crews worked up against the clock to repair the levee. It broke in five areas. They were unable to fix it all. This levee system was recently restored to last until 2050. It cost $20 million, Adriana. It took just one storm to cause this much destruction. Jonathan, thank you.